Hey, it's me, Shelly. Welcome to my channel. What are we doing today? Well, I think you can probably tell by the, the makeup that uh, today we're, this video we're doing, we're talking about the Day of the Dead. Um, it's a very traditional uh, holiday in Mexico where they celebrate uh, life with the people who have passed away in their families. They built altars and uh, just pay, pay tribute to everyone that has left, left this, this world. And uh, the idea is that on this one day, the people from beyond come back down to earth and we all celebrate together. So that's the tradition and why the half skeleton face and the half not, because in that way we're, we're celebrating life and death together. Our plan is to, uh, well, we obviously got our face painted professionally and I will uh, you know, talk about that a little bit more whenever we get into the video. Um, and we're planning to go down to the port side and uh, visit. There's a couple of places that have altars down there. And then back up here in Colonia, they are going to have a few stops where people have built altars in honor of their people who have passed on. And they're, we're allowed to go on a tour of these altars. And that's, that's what we're doing tonight to celebrate uh, Dia de Muertos. It's what we're doing today. The Day of the Dead is a Mexican tradition celebrated on November 1st and 2nd in which the dead are honored and remembered. It's a combination of Catholic and indigenous customs and is not the Mexican version of Halloween. So about the face painting. This is called sugar skull, sugar skull makeup and it's a tradition used when celebrating this holiday. The name sugar skull came from a print created by an artist named Jose Guadalupe Prosada, which was called La Cavera Catrina, which translate to the elegant skull. The image is of an upper class female with a skull for a face. The meaning originally was that no matter what class of people you come from, we all die anyway. In modern day celebrations, people paint their faces to look like skulls to represent a loved one who has lost their life. Rick and I wanted to experience the cultural significance of this holiday while we were here, so we found a makeup artist, Niza Mendoza, to paint her faces for the celebration. She was extremely professional and came right to, that, right to our house. I would think if you were looking for someone to do wedding makeup or for any occasion, she's your go-to girl in Puerto Morales. She did a fantastic job. The point of Dia de Muertos is to demonstrate love and respect for de deceased family members. Typical celebrations include donning face makeup and costumes, holding parades and parties, singing and dancing, and making offerings to lost loved ones. The centerpiece of the celebration is an altar, or ofrenda, built in private homes and cemeteries. Altars include water to to quench the thirst after the long journey, food, family photos, candles, toys if the spirit is a child, and marigolds, lots of marigolds, whose petals guide wandering souls back to the place of rest. Our initial plan was to head down to Portside for dinner and then to visit some altars down there. Then we were going to head back up to La Colonia and visit some altars up here. 
The problem we ran into was that it was extremely busy port side, as would be expected, and it up, ended up taking us a long time to catch a cab back up to the Colonia. By the time we got back here, it was dark, and we had no way of getting transportation to tour the altars. Luckily, there was one altar with, within walking distance of our Airbnb, so I went and visited it. some stories about it being disrespectful or appropriation of Mexican culture for foreigners to don the face paint of the sugar skull while celebrating Day of the Dead. I'd like to say here that in my personal experience here I received nothing but positive reactions from the Mexican people I encountered. Everyone was appreciative of our efforts to join in their culture and to learn more about it. I even had one person ask if she could take a picture. We didn't attend any of the parades or louder celebrations because I wanted to keep my video a humble look at this extremely important cultural event. de Muerto is a sweet bun covered in sugar and is an only available during this time of year. Rick loved them. In the main square leading up to the Dia de Muertos, an artistic review was created in the main square of the, of the port side. It re represented the fall of the great Tenochtitlan due to the arrival of Cortes and the alliances of various Mesoamerican nations. The mat was created to describe this historical event. The mat was made of dyed sawdust and was incredible to see the time and effort and talent required to create it. Just amazing culture here. Back home, just a few more photos just to uh, record our uh, wonderful day that we spent celebrating the Day of the Dead in Puerto Morelos, Mexico.